Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to particularly talk about cervical effacement. So first of all, you must know that that to normal vaginal delivery to happen, you need three P's. The first P is power, and that means proper, good, and strong uterine contractions. Uterine contractions are the primary thing to start a labor. Second thing is pathway. And the pathway consists of cervix, vagina and the bony outlet. The passenger that means the baby. The attitude of the baby whether it is flexed or extended. The attitude decides the overall volume of the baby to be passed out from the pathway. So when the baby is well flexed then the overall volume of the baby uh, becomes easier to pass out from the pathway that means flexion attitude is favorable for vaginal delivery in this particular video we are going to discuss about the cervix cervix acts as a gate of this pathway so if you see this figure this is the uterus this is the cervix here and this is the vagina you can see here the baby if you want to come out from this pathway even baby to enter in this pathway the baby need to pass out from the cervix and the cervix acts as a gate now particularly understand the cervix cervix is a part of uterus obviously but there is difference uterus is primarily made of smooth muscle while the cervix is primarily made of collagen and now the very important property of collagen in our body is it changes with the different contents of water, mineral and enzymes like collagenesis. The property of the collagen remains from either firm, a firm to soft. When you say firm that means when the water content in the collagen decreases it becomes firm. Like the tip of your nose and when the water content in the collagen increases and the various enzymes like collagenase increases they will just broke up the fibers so the consistency of the collagen will be very soft and that is similar to the ear lobe now you can also take an example of wax if wax is cool it is firm and when it is warmed it becomes softer and thinner similar happen things similar thing happen with the cervix at the time of labor when you can see a thick long cervix in non labor uterus becomes a soft and shorter like here in labor so here one thing is very important you to know Cervical dilatation is not equal to cervical effacement. Dilatation that means it is measured in the centimeters, and that means uh, simply the distance between upper and lower leaps. So it can be from 0 to 10 centimeter when fully dilated. So dilatation that does not mean the cervical effacement. Even the fully dilated cervix may, may not have been fully effaced. And the fully effaced cervix may not be dilated. Effacement is expressed in the percentage. So if there is a thick long cervix, the percentage given is 0. And if we have a soft and short cervix, the percentage given 100. So fully effaced cervix, that means 100% effacement, when the cervix becomes very soft, thinner like paper, and very soft now the very important thing is station and but that will be discussed in the next another video but here I am discussing about the effacement and dilatation so I hope you understand the effacement thing very clear now it is very important the cervix to be fully dilated and fully effaced to have a proper normal and easy vaginal delivery. Thank you friends.